All right, another week and yet another GM guidebook for GMs to branch up the ante. So this one is perfect for like wh whenever you get a group of PCs that get a bunch a bit uppity. So villains, minions, and their tactics. So basically, as a DM, it gives you even more ammunition to throw at your PCs and everything. So like I said, if they get a bit uppity and a bit like aha, we can take anything. This per one is perfect to be able to like introduce unique villains into it. So gives like an artwork of some of the villains right in the beginning. And like, uh, just like every other book, it has like the table of contents so you can quickly find all the different villains and their minions. It also gives like a chapter on like the creature tactics and it also ends with like a one shot adventure. So the primary part of this book, as you can see, is the actual like villains and their minions. So brief forward for this, and then like it gets like into like a brief like two page introduction, and then it gets right into the nitty gritty details of the villains and their minions. So each one uh, gives like a picture of the actual like, uh, care of the villain character. You know, Vax the serpent, aka Bor the blacksmith. Like someone like this would be perfect to plop into any town. So it gets into actual like. Uh, details of each uh, of them so like, it gives like the, the picture of the, their name and then the like, gate pretty much gives them like a whole menu of uh, information on the actual uh, the NPC or villain in this case so then like uh, we got uh, Nicodemus the vermin king so like uh, I don't know if people like uh, this will probably date me a bit but like uh, with this one comes to, to mind for me like the the cartoon movie Secret of Nim. So it like, uh, kind of, kind of uh, that one kind of like uh, induces memories of that. And so and then of course you also got like a dwarf villain, the cannibal clerk, Waldrick. And so it gives like a, and of course, and each one goes very in depth with each of these characters and everything. So like, uh, and gives even different like, like a, a villain, like right here, you wouldn't necessarily think of a, a dryad as a villain. So gives the kind of like unique details on like uh, different types of villains that you could use that you wouldn't necessarily would so like the, of course the concept of the child you know, like as a, like a, a monarch as a ruler of a kingdom so it gives like a, uh, something like that so like uh, something that comes to mind is in Diablo 3 when you're going through like uh, the desert and everything you know, right before you fight the uh, uh, one of the main demons in there. I, I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but like, I'm sure people, someone can remember who, uh, who I'm talking about. The, and of course you got the Dalian the Forest Master, so like it gives you like a, and, uh, villains for pretty much like every type of like a encounter you can get. So like uh, that was a forest. You can kind of picture like uh, this one, uh, more of like a, a desert type uh, background in, in my like in my view and so then like um and you know pirate adventures that you can do as well uh Harkon the red so the this is like uh, great and like uh and like i said like gives you you know in uh, villains for any type of like uh encounters like uh with ishmael here like i get the like, uh I'm glad you can get in like a gladiatorial arena type deal. So good, good ideas are like endless. So like, uh, and so like, uh, you could end up using like, uh, maybe use a, a Vatizi here as like a maybe a seducer type of uh, villain. So like, if you get like a bard that kind of like, uh, uh, kind of keep the bard in his place and everything. So, and then of course like. Uh, at the end, the ringleader here, like a kind of like a tease build type of like a vibe that you could get, and of course, like, um, uh, you mob the game master, like, uh, people like uh, for me, uh, might remember the comic books, the swamp thing that's what comes to mind with this and everything. So, like, uh, so I kind of use references of stuff that might come to mind. So, like, uh, uh gray ale here, they're like, uh, probably like your stereotypical drow. Yeah. That you can use like, or, 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 or at least it's portrayed here, and like you can get into actual details, and and maybe like uh, with the information here, you can uh, kind of like uh, tinker with the actual and uh, these and like uh, make them suit your needs. So like, um, 
again with the vault pest here like you can like maybe like you're running like a arabian nights type adventure you can use th this one so like uh, i'm trying to use examples on like how to use each of these villains and everything so like uh, this one like the the uh, von richten's guidebook to uh ravenloft this uh the desolate Grim would fit perfectly into something like that and everything. Maybe as like a dreadlord, so that's an idea that you could use for uh, this one. And like, uh, like Resic, the Orc Queen. So like, uh, I don't know if people like uh, have read like uh, all the uh, uh, Drist volume uh, novels, but could uh, quite possibly be like an uh, Orc leader who's trying to unite the uh, Orcs themselves and like. Uh, maybe make an orc uh, ki uh, kingdom or empire that would be like another idea you could use the, this one for uh, the created yeah another like uh, stuff you could use for maybe like a, a thieves guild type adventure like uh, uh, breaking in and in and like uh, use this guy as a villain who maybe like uh, is part of their team and he portrays them and so like it sets them off on an adventure to kind of go against him and everything so like uh, that's another idea you could use uh, this one that i kind of figure like off the top of my head and stuff so like uh and of course like um the glory of giants books i've gone over you can go uh, get into something like this with halfley and like uh, this one like uh, th this guy i feel like could be like a great for like a one shot like a uh, type of venture or like if you're running like a, a dwarven centric campaign you could use uh, this guy as like their main villain and of course your stereotypical uh, troll so like uh Maybe you're running like a Nordic mythology themed uh, campaign, uh, and of course in Nordic mythology, like uh, trolls do make a lot of appearance and everything. So like you could use this for something like that. So like the ideas for these NPCs uh, or these villains and their minions are pretty much like uh, limitless. So uh, R.I. here, like uh, you get you could uh, quite possibly think of like the the Medusa type. You know, get get into the Greek mythology this time. So like each of these gets like in depth on each of the actual NPCs, and so as you can see, gives uh, a whole litany of information on them, their like, uh, minions and everything. So like uh, Lord Sebastian here, the Undead King, I uh, with this kind of character, I get uh, I got the vibe of like uh, Arthas, like the Witch King from the uh, World of Warcraft. And, like, you could. Uh, do something like that that's like the vibe with this you know, character i get you could do something like that and of course like uh villains wouldn't be complete without at least one dragon and everything so like um think of like a, a smog from the hobbit would be like a prime example of like a a, a uh, dragon villain yeah kind of the debauched it, basically if you're running like a, a, a demon or a abyss type campaign this one would be perfect for something like that and so, like, uh, of course, you get, like, uh, this chapter is the most in-depth one. So, like, uh, <clears throat> the Colossus of Karnak, again, this is kind of, like, uh, something, like, uh, you could uh, gear towards more, maybe kind of, like, uh, Greek mythology or something, something geared towards that and everything. So, like, I I'm just kind of putting ideas out there that you can use for these characters. And, of course, like, um, Nezeroth, the Undying here, you can kind of, like, uh, maybe, like, uh, use him as like a, a res, red wizard of Thay. maybe he's an up and coming one and like you use him as a villain in the forgotten realms so those are the villains that you could use to like uh, kind of the ideas that like uh, i kind of came up with on the top of my head and everything so then of course you get into like a creature tactics so for like the dm uh, it kind of gives you even more ideas instead of just like um okay the fighters are going up and uh, you're PCs are going up against a bunch of hobgoblins and like okay they win and just kind of like roll dice and like uh, and then oh yeah well there you go it gives you more in depth information on tactics and everything so it actually can challenge the PCs and like uh, make them think maybe th maybe think you know, have them think twice about like uh, going into battle and everything so like uh, uh, their tactics might be better so like um, it goes into like all types of like uh, different types of monsters like the Ankeds, the Azirs and like. Uh, up here like you got the bug there so you this is kind of like an alphabetical order of different kind of like uh, monsters like cyclops and devils so it gives you a whole window of uh, ideas for tactics and strategy and stuff that the 
the monsters would actually use. And of course, the, the artwork in here, like uh, just like every other book, seems to be like a fantastic and everything. So like uh, just looking at the artwork can give you like plenty of ideas. So the, this is probably the, the smaller part of it because like the like I said and showed the main part of this is like the, the actual villains themselves and gives like a whole uh, background on them. So because you know, if, if you're going to create a villain, you want to have as much information on the villain as you can. So that way, like, uh, especially if you're running the same villain over the course of a campaign and not necessarily like one encounter or like a one shot adventure. So, like, uh, yeah, good old werewolves too. So, like, uh, you can get back to like, uh, a horror theme, like the one written guide that I went over. Gives like uh, good tactics on that and everything. And of course, you can't like, uh, do werewolves but like vampires and stuff. So, like, uh, and good old mummies. So, like, I know like Halloween's a couple months ago at the time of this recording, but like, I guess that's always my favorite holiday. So, like, uh, I always tend to mention stuff like uh, horror and stuff like that and everything because, like I said, that's my favorite. So, and like, um, just looking at the artwork, I'm sure most the uh, DMs can just like, oh man, this looks cool. I got an idea for that and everything. So, like, uh, just looking at the artwork and going through a flip through, I'm sure that like that people can get like a bunch of different ideas for like uh, different uh, uh, campaign ideas, like maybe like uh, going to the astral uh, uh, realm, astral projection, dreams. Like uh, d again, getting back into the horror theme, get like a, a horror type campaign and stuff like that. And so like, that with the, this is like a, a, the ideas are like a limitless. So like um, it does end with like a quick one on how you. And as a, a DM, create your own villain, so you don't necessarily have to use one of uh, the villains that is already uh, pre-made in here. Of course, like it does give you like the a guideline and like how, how to like uh, gear them towards which type of like uh, maybe you just start off a, a can like a campaign, or maybe you like a, you have the main villain that you want him to fa face off at the end of the campaign type of deal. So. And like it gives you a whole information on how like how to like create the uh, villain yourself as like the main NPC that's going to, going to be going up against the PCs and so like, uh, and of course it also gives you like a, a guide to how to make a minion for your villain too so you don't necessarily have to just make the villain like oh wait how do I make a minion it gives you information on that too so then like of course that's real quick and then of course it gives you like the ends with like a few quick uh one shot adventures so like i'll just flip through those real quick so like uh is uh w with this like uh, it could be like a good idea uh, with these one shots kind of like a a good way to introduce the uh villains in the previous uh, in the previous pages of this book and everything so th this is like an, another great one in this series of like a game master guides so there's still like a few more that we'll have to get through because this is only the second of uh, s several. So uh, like any of the like, uh, and like uh, I pretty much always reiterate the only thing you really need to play it would be the P uh, the player's handbook. But stuff like uh, this after you get like the, the core rule books of the player handbook, monster manual and dungeon master guide, stuff like this, for ex especially for uh, dungeon masters, are, uh, would be a great valuable tool because like uh, as you can see in this that uh, like, it, it kind of expands like your main villains and it gives you different ideas so like uh, you don't necessarily and plus it reduces a lot of the legwork that you have to do yourself as a dm so like, uh, this uh, along with the other uh, gm guidebooks that uh, uh, I, i've gone through with this one and the previous one plus the ones i'll be getting through would be great additions for a dm so that way it, it gives you more tools to the trade so you can get like a like i first said in this one you have like a group of pcs that get a bit a uh, bit uppity it gives you more information to kind of like uh peg uh, put them uh, the down a notch and everything so uh, these ones are definitely worth picking up and everything even though they uh, are pretty much just optional uh, guidebooks 